Hello everyone, welcome to Route to Mathematics. In this video, we're going to solve this algebraic equation. So here we have given if x minus y equals to 9 and x square plus y square equals to 81, then find the value of x to the power 2024 plus y to the power 2024. So here we have given two equations and we're asked to find the value of this given expression. Okay. So, without any delay, let's just start the solution. So, we have given x minus y equals to 9. Let's take it as equation 1. And the second equation is x square plus y square equals to 81. Let's take it as second equation. Okay. In the next step, I'll square both sides of equation 1. So, from equation 1, we have x minus y equals to 9. Now squaring both the side, we have x minus y whole square equals to 9 square. Now we know an algebraic identity of a minus b whole square which is equals to a square plus b square minus 2ab. Okay, so applying the algebraic identity here, I can write x square plus y square minus 2xy equals to 81. Okay. Now, from equation 2, we have x square plus y square equals to 81. Okay. Let's just substitute the value here. So, I can write 81 minus 2xy equals to 81. This implies this. Now, bringing this 81 to the right-hand side, we have minus 2xy equals to 81 minus 81 which is equals to 0. So this implies this I can write 2xy equals to 0. Now this implies this xy equals to 0. Let's take it as equation 3. So here we have xy equals to 0. So in order to satisfy this given equation, we can assume that in the first case the value of x is equals to 0 and y may not be equal to 0. In the second case, x is not equal to 0 and y may be equal to 0. And in the third case, both x is equals to 0 and y is equals to 0. Okay. Now in the next step, let's just check each values is satisfying the both equation 1 and 2 or not. Okay. So, now, in the case 1, we'll consider x equal to 0 and y is not equal to 0. So, we have x minus y equals to 9 from equation 1. So, this implies this minus y equal to 9. This implies this y equal to minus 9. And in the second equation, we have x square plus y square equals to 81. Okay. We will take the left hand side that is x square plus y square and we will put the value of x and y here in order to check this is equal to right hand side or not. Okay, so the value of x is 0, 0 square plus we found y equal to minus 9, so minus 9 square. This equals to 0 plus 81, so we are, we are getting 81 which is the RHS of the equation 2. Okay. So, the value x equal to 0 and y equal to minus 9 satisfying both the equation. So, here we are getting x, y equals to 0 comma minus 9. Now, in case 2, let's just consider x is not equal to 0 and y is equals to 0. So, we have x minus y equals to 9. So, here we are getting x minus 0 equal to 9. And this implies this x equals to 9. Okay. Let's just put the value of x and y in equation 2. So, we have equation 2 is x square plus y square. Similarly, let's just check is it equal to 81 or not. So, x is 9 square plus 0 square. So, here also we are getting 81 which is equals to RHS of the equation 2. 
so the value of x and y also satisfying both the equation so here we are getting x and y equals to 9 comma 0 now in the case 3 we have x equals to 0 and y equals to 0 so here the value of x and y is neither satisfying the equation 1 or equation 2 so this value get discarded so the only value we have x and y equals to 0 comma minus 9 and 9 comma 0 okay now what I asked to find we are asked to find the value of x to the power 2024 plus y to the power 2024 okay so let's just find the value of this expression for each value of x and y so when x and y equals to 0 comma minus 9 x to the power 2024 plus y to the power 2024 equals to 0 to the power 2024 plus minus 9 to the power 2024 as you can see that the power is even so we are getting 9 to the power 2024 as our answer for the value of 0 and minus 9 now when x and when x and y equals to 9 comma 0 so we have x to the power 2024 plus y to the power 2024 which is equals to 9 to the power 2024 plus 0 to the power 2024 okay so here we are getting 9 to the power 2024 is our answer so in the both the cases we are getting the same answer i hope you have understood the solution thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for more such interesting videos thank you